This is the start of the history of the project that was formerly known as the Fifth Grade History Fair project. I don't have a snappy dappy name for it yet, so if you think of a snappy dappy jazzy name for this project, please let me know. You are um, going to create a short magazine, four to eight pages, on a topic of your choice. Now, all of this I do have in a handy dandy packet for you. But instead of you going slipping through these while I'm talking, I'm going to hold on to these right now. You also get a handy dandy jumbo. Jumbo? Whoa. <laughs> bag. This is going to be your work folder, your research folder. So all your facts, your new notes, your research go in here. We'll be putting your name on it with Sharpie marker. And it needs to come to and from every day while we're doing this project. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> this is like, and I'm going to be really strict about this. Yes, Huss? Will we be working on this at school too? We will talk about that in just a minute. Okay. Okay. So why are we doing this project, this research project? Learning appropriate research methods and formats <coughs> of organizing and presenting information is one of the foundations that you need to develop into a lifelong learner. And above everything else in life, I want you to be a lifelong learner, which means to be curious, means to be always learning, always trying, keep moving forward. The project will help you practice skills you already know, that you've been doing since kindergarten, learn some new skills, and increase your knowledge about a topic of your choice. And that's one of the key things. You get to choose the topic. It could be hockey. It could be Brazil, the country. It could be Girl Scouts and the History of Kill. It could be gaming, either video gaming or board games. It could be horses. It could be um, fashion. It cannot be, well, not really. It needs because it, we don't know for sure if mine is, if mine is a mythical creature. Mythical creature, not mis mythical creature. It can be. Yes, it, but, it ha but it has to have all these components that we're going to talk about. In your magazine, and I'm talking when I say, oh, Hubert, yes. Can we do horror movies? Yes. Uh, <laughs> if, if your parents approve. Okay. Oh, Marvel. So your magazine is going to be kind of like um, the Weekly Readers, the Scholastic News, uh, National Geographic, Kids Magazines, and we'll take a look at those later this week um, to understand them. Yes? Um, can we do like mystery stuff? Um, you have to define it a little bit more than that. What about mysteries? Oh. So that's what you need to, yeah. Um, can we do it over four, over four to eight pages? So can we do like 12 pages? Um, if you need that. Yes. Okay. So, your magazine needs to have at least, and what does at least mean? Um, the at least amount. It has to have not, that. I'll sing. Um, like, it has to have this amount, not, um, not like lower, but, and it can be higher. It can, least. yes, it has to have that set amount, and you're right, it can't be lower, but it can definitely be higher. Uh -huh. So, you're going to have one feature article, nonfiction, <coughs> that's the main article, and in our... Scholastic News, which article is usually the feature article? The first article. The first one. one on the, the one on the cover. Yep. And at least one opinion article. In the Scholastic News, how do they do opinion articles? Uh, yes and no. Yeah, debate. A debate. Yeah. Yes and no. That's one format. That's what I'm we'll be talking about other formats that you can do an opinion article in. One learning activity. Oh, like the back of the Scholastic. The back of the Scholastic does have learning activities. Some of those, I'll be honest, are kind of boring. Yeah. I'm hoping you'll be more creative with your learning activities. <laughs> uh, a listing of resources used, a bibliography. You need to have at least five different resources. You're in fifth grade, at least wait, five different the, resources. Wait, what's the bibliography? What does it say? Oh, okay. Tell me what it says. Um, a listing of resources used Yep. bibliography. Yep, that's the citations. Oh, oh okay, cites. No, ten nonfiction text features. And this was a question when my proofreaders looked at my project. I had a question, Rebecca, what's a nonfiction text reader, text feature? Just 
you remember? That's okay, because we're going to do a whole <laughs> lesson. I'm going to do lessons on all these. Anybody have an idea on a nonfiction text feature? And I happen to know that you all have done those since at least second grade, if not first grade. Oh, Chase. Uh, all the stuff you read is true. Mm -hmm. No, I know. No, that's nonfiction. <laughs> That's a theme. Oh. That's a topic. I know. Adam? It was like how to be things in second grade, how to be me. But at the text feature, the features in the text, the characteristics in the text, the attributes in the I text. Megan. Like, um, italics? Italics is one. It's the it's things. White. Yes. Could Angelina come to the office for a minute? She sure can. It's the things in the text. The things the author uses, the tools the author uses to help you understand the organization of the material. They could be captions, they could be charts, they could be indexes, table of contents. Do all of these things now sound familiar? Yeah, could yeah. it be bold? Yeah. Could it be yes, bold? it could be bold like print job. Yeah, yes. So it has glossary. Glossary, yeah. Hi. I'm doing the introduction to the big project, so could I have them for a little bit, please? You can. Thank you. All right. So you have to have at least 10 nonfiction text features. You also need to have at least two of the following. And these are choices. This is choices. Well, you have to choose, have to choose at least two of these. How many? Two. two. Can you choose more? Yes. yes. Okay. An article focusing on the use of data with your topic. Maps, graphs, charts, tables, surveys, timelines, experiment data, etc. Etc. A poem. You could write a poem about your topic. An article focusing on a person involved with your topic. So say you were doing baseball, you could do an article about Jackie Robinson. An article relating music to your topic. Say you were doing baseball, you could do an article about the seventh inning stretch and the songs people sing during the seventh inning stretch, which is? That's one of the ones they stretch to. Take me out to the ball game. Me out to the ball game. Get me some cracker jacks. Take me out to the park. Okay. Me <laughs> out to the park. Yes. Well, you have to practice that. For come back. Okay. An article relating visual art to your topic. So if you are um, doing, we'll do with baseball again. You could uh, talk about baseball art. There are several famous artists, um, and not so famous artists, who've done paintings and sculptures about um, baseball. You could include something about that, or you could draw your own original artwork and upload it into your magazine. Um, visual art. Uh, physical activity. So how do you get in shape for, how does a baseball trainer, a baseball player train? That could be an activity. Do 50 squats, uh, 100 squats so, a day. An article relating theater to your topic. Are there any plays about baseball? An article relating math to your topic. Give me a uh, uh, math topic for baseball. Does that say theater above that? There's seven innings, seven is uh, over. How's name? Um, like how many innings there are, maybe? Yeah, what's another one? Um, Chase. Um, Chase, what's another one? Yeah. Added. Yeah, another one. What's, John? Like, uh, how many strikes take there? Yeah, what do we call that? And, uh, out. RBIs? Do you know what those are? RBIs. Nice. Runs batted in. The statistics for that for baseball players. Uh, an article relating science to your topic. What are the physics of when a baseball hits a bat? Oh, friction. Friction. An article relating history to your topic. You could do something about the women's league in baseball or when the, um, Jack when Rump's men, when when integrated. The yep. An article relating relating reading or writing to your topic. An article relating world cultures to your topic. How come Japan really loves baseball so much? What? When it's they an American sport. I didn't even know they do baseball. Yep. Original artwork. And scrolling down, they did baseball there's baseball. Added an interview with someone connected to your topic. So you might interview the baseball coach at Orno High or at UMaine or send a, send a letter to a baseball player on the Red Sox and with some questions and put that interview in. Hustling. What if they don't respond to that? Then you can't use it. 
And the last one is choice is an article connected to your topic that's not listed here and is approved by me. So and I have to go approved on that. I have a question. <coughs> yes. For our topic, could we do like our grandparents or something? We'll talk okay. about topics in a little bit, okay? When on the back of this says there's a timeline in the pa packet. However, not every assignment is listed at this point. You must have your pop packet for every class so you can keep track and add additional assignments as needed. This timeline might need to be altered. Like, this was supposed to start yesterday, so I'm trying to squeeze two lessons into one day here. Oh. Due to snow days, illness, testing, instructional needs. If you all struggle with taking notes, I might need to add more days for taking notes than I had planned. And extenuating circumstances. Things that I can't think of now. And this it's, the next part is how answers Hassan's question. We'll work together on this project. Some of the work will be done here at school. Some will be done at home. However, you, each one of you, are responsible for completing the project. This includes all in-class work, homework, the final project presentation, and reflection. So there's a lot that's going to happen. Oh, so, but all of this is in writing. So your first homework is um, to show this to your parents tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You also need to put your name and date. And it doesn't have it here, but on this first part here, I want your parents' initials here or their name here so that I know tomorrow that they've seen this and know that this project is coming. I'm also going to email this document to them so they'll all have a copy of the home too. Yes? So what I'm going to do next, and I do have time for it, is I'm going to show you a short video about choosing topic ideas. And then on page six of your packet, and I'll pass it out after the video. Oh, and the ABW, what does that stand for up here? Alan Bayer White. You just circled the one you're in. So it says, research topic ideas. I'm going to show it up here. Thanks. And I don't want you to, to um, OK. So I want you to keep it simple. Keep it, kiss it. Keep it simple, students. You're going to write the topic in here. Some ideas you have for your feature article, your opinion article, and your choice article ideas. So if my idea was baseball. I'd write baseball in here, neater than that. Feature okay. article ideas might be um, a place in American history. American history. Opinion should be uh, wooden, wood versus metal bats. That's just my idea. Choice article ideas, uh, Jackie Robinson and the Women's League. Those are just my ideas. Um, another topic might be gaming. Um, history of games. Um, opinion article. How um, should kids under 10 be allowed uh, to play video games? It's an opinion. It's not a fact. And choice article ideas might be... Um, uh, a graph of favorites in fifth grade, of favorites, games, and I don't know what else I do. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to make some topics. You might come up with five ideas. You might only come up with two ideas. You have to have at least two ideas. And then you're going to choose them oh, one, two, or two, one. Put your first, second, third choice. Men. Can 
um, more than one person do the same topic? Yes, but you cannot. You can share resources, but you cannot do the same magazine. You have to do different magazines. Oh yeah, we did last week. Wait, then why do we have to do first and second choice? Because if for some reason we can't find resources, oh, and I want to see what your thinking is too about it. This is just as much about your thinking process as it is about your final product. This is just as much about learning as it is the final project. Jai. What if you already have your two resources? Two resources? You have to have five resources. You mean two ideas? No. You have to have five resources. That's what it said on the first page. Five resources at least. You're in fifth grade, so five resources. So okay. in third grade, you have to have three resources? You have to have at least five. I expect from some of you, I expect far more than five resources. Okay. So, um, so in this packet, some of the times you'll see blank pages. That's because I'm going to do a lesson that day. Kiss it. What is that supposed to mean? Keep it simple, students. Oh. So my topic is gaming. Uh, my big theme is gaming, but I need to narrow that topic down for questions. So our first, um, our set first and second lesson here. Let me go. Back to my teaching notes here to see what I was going to do. Oh, mm -hmm. you'll get to see my teaching notes. <laughs> That'd be cool if you like put it back to where it was and it was just okay. Like, all in the so we're going to. Um, we're not going to look at magazines right now because I want to start on the topic piece. You too. Can I erase the board? Um, yes, please. And May, can you get the front lights, please? How do you choose a writing topic for an informational text? In this lesson, you will learn how to choose a writing topic for an informational text by asking questions about your interests. Let's review. An informational text gives facts about a nonfiction topic. So here are some nonfiction topics. Fish, cars, people, and insects. Remember, nonfiction means real, so these are all real things. We also want to review the writing process. There are three steps. Generate ideas, write drafts, and revise and edit. We're in the first stage, generate ideas, because we are thinking about what we want our topic to be. A common mistake when writing an informational text is choosing a topic that is too broad or too narrow. A broad topic would be dogs, and a narrow topic would be golden retrievers with wounded legs from dog shelters in the city of Boston. The broad topic is not very specific, and it might have too many resources for your informational text. A narrow topic might be so specific that you might not be able to find any resources on it, and it wouldn't make a good topic. You want to find a text topic that's in the middle, not too broad and not too narrow. Let's get started. First, make a list of topics that you would like writing about. Then ask, which topics are really interesting, or what do I want to know more about? And finally, pick the choice you are most excited about. When you make a list of topics that you would like writing about, think about your interests. So here are some topics I like. I like Native Americans because we learned about them in school, and I think they're really interesting about how people lived long ago in America, so that's a topic I like. I also like planets. It's really interesting to learn about Saturn and the Earth and Jupiter and all the different planets in science class, so that could be a topic. And I really like to write, so famous authors might be something to think about for my topic because I could write about maybe Dr. Seuss or J.K. Rowling or all the different kind of authors that I've read about this year. So these are a lot of topics I like that can turn into a good text topic. I also want to ask, what do I want to know more about? So let me think. Here are the topics I liked again. Native Americans, planets, and famous authors. And I can dig a little bit deeper into each topic to make a more specific topic. So for Native Americans, I can ask, how did Pocahontas feel about Jamestown? For planets, I can say, what kind of material make up the planet? And for famous authors, I can wonder, when did Dr. Seuss start publishing his writing? 
So these are all deeper questions I can ask to find a more specific text topic. And lastly, I'm gonna pick the choice that I'm most excited about. So here are the topics I like, Native Americans, planets, and famous authors. And I think I'm gonna pick Native Americans because I wanna think about how Pocahontas and the other Powhatan Indians interacted with the settlers from Jamestown and how they felt about that. That seems like a really interesting topic to me, so I'm gonna pursue that one. First, we made a list of topics that we would like writing about. Then we asked, which topics are really interesting, or what do I want to know more about? In fact, <laughs> did you do this on purpose because of the Jamestown? No, I didn't. But when I saw it, I was very excited. Uh, oh, you know what happened? I ran out of power. Oh. <laughs> Jeremy, you can see a finger marks. That's led to erase it. Yeah. Okay. Remember your being video. I can also just barely see the word sample to from it. Yeah. Oh, and it doesn't. <laughs> I see Jackie's Okay. Well, we're going to stop this.